Prince Andrew has never criticized King Charles despite bitter feud over Duke of York's home. Prince Andrew has been fiercely loyal to his brother King Charles despite their feud over the Duke of York's royal residence. An insider claims the Duke has never criticized Charles nor spoken negatively about the royal family. It comes as Andrew is refusing to leave Royal Lodge and plans to pass his lease over to his daughters after his death. The lease has 54 years left and the Duke intends to honor the terms of the agreement. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. I have never heard him say anything negative about his brother or indeed any member of his family, a friend of Andrew told the son. It's just not something he would do. However, others who have worked alongside the royal have described the 64-year-old as rude and pampered. An undercover reporter at Buckingham Palace in 2003 recalled one instance when a footman entered Andrew's bedroom to open his curtains and said, Good morning your royal highness. The Duke reportedly responded saying, fuck off. Another journalist, Valentine Lowe, claimed that Andrew once shouted at a royal aide. He is thought to have said, fuck off out of my office and fuck off out of my life. The Prince now spends the majority of his time at his home, Royal Lodge in Windsor. The Duke of York was told to suspend his public duties for the foreseeable future in 2019 a decision made with the Queen's sign-off. One close aide believes Andrew possibly thought he was bulletproof but added that others should also shoulder some of the blame for his downfall. They said, he's become a pantomime figure and I understand why. He painted an easy target on his back, and for the most part didn't even realize it, or if he did, he didn't care. He comes from an era where he was the Queen's son, for God's sake. He was lauded and applauded. People bowed and scraped for decades. That's got to affect your ego, and I suspect he probably thought he was bulletproof. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's family living room we never see. The Duke and Duchess of York reside at Royal Lodge at Windsor. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson might have divorced almost 30 years ago, but the Duke and Duchess of York continue to share a close bond and the former couple live together at Royal Lodge, a £30 million property in the heart of Windsor Great Park in Berkshire. Prince Andrew and Sarah, both 64, have lived at the Royal Residence since 2004 and his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, granted the Duke to lease to the property the year prior, under the expectation that renovations would be undertaken to repair, renew, uphold, clean and keep in repair and where necessary rebuild the home. More recently, Andrew's brother, King Charles, is said to be applying pressure on him to vacate the property and instead move to nearby residency, Frogmore Cottage, the former home of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Royal Lodge, a 19th-century grade two listed building, sits on 90 acres of land and has more than 30 rooms, including seven bedrooms and a saloon. But we rarely get a glimpse inside the home. One room we never get to see is their family living room. One photo from inside the private royal residency shows how palatial the lounge rooms are at Royal Lodge. There are numerous sofas scattered around the room which are draped in green, pink and red paisley patterns. The room also boasts an enormous Persian-style rug in order to add soft furnishings and comfort underfoot. The ceilings are sky-high and the walls leading up to the room have been kept traditional with arched panels, making way for hanging portraits and paintings. On one wall sits a fireplace centered beautifully between the seating areas, meaning the family can cozy up in front of the fire from time to time. There are candelabras, ornate vases and other trinkets placed along the rim for extra style and home comforts. Meanwhile, an enormous chandelier hangs from the ceiling, adding even more glamour and a touch of royalty. Though it's likely that Prince Andrew and Sarah, Duchess of York, who are parents to Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, have updated the interiors and décor, it's certainly likely that the traditional elements including its regal style have remained to ensure the home holds on to its authenticity. 
Windsor was one of Her Late Majesty's favourite residencies, second only to Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Also on the grounds is a chapel which is dear to the family. Services at the church have been held there in recent times, while Prince Andrew's grandparents King George VI and the Queen Mother regularly worshipped at the chapel while they lived at Royal Lodge during their time as the Duke and Duchess of York. Most notably in modern times, the Duke's eldest daughter Princess Beatrice married Edardo Mopelli Mozzi there in 2020 in a private ceremony due to social restrictions imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. A highlight of the space is the late Queen Elizabeth II's life-sized playhouse that still stands on the estate. In 1932, when the Queen was six years old, the people of Wales gifted her an incredible life-sized playhouse complete with running water, electricity, a fully functioning kitchen and bathroom, and a living room and bedroom. It's the most glamorous Wendy house ever, but it's really beautiful and what you're seeing now is after a year's renovation process, explained Princess Beatrice previously in the documentary The Diamond Queen. It's been completely rethatched, new curtains, new wiring, a bit of a spruce up really. All the little china and glass was created especially for the house. Royal fans may notice similarities between Sarah's stunning emerald green gown and one worn by Princess Kate to the 2023 Royal Variety Show performance. By the same designer, Princess Kate's was a teal blue shade called Poseidon, with a jeweled neckline and the same floor-length split sleeves. She accessorized the striking ensemble with items she had previously worn, a J. Crew crystal and pearl earrings, a Jenny Packham Casa Lame clutch and Emmy London Rebecca suede pumps. The princess is well known for recycling outfits and accessories. Like Kate, Sarah opted to wear her hair down in a natural, wavy style. The 64-year-old wore her red hair in a side parting and accessorized the look with dangling pearl earrings and two simple silver bracelets. Writing on Instagram, she said, as a long-time ambassador to a TPW underscore foundation, I am so excited and honored to be here today in Gothenburg to present the Perfect World Foundation Award. It is inspiring to look back over the years at all these awards have captured, hard work and determination to preserve our planet, its climate and its environments, championed by some truly extraordinary people. Thank you Sir David Attenborough, Dr. Jane Goodall, and HSH Prince Albert II of Monaco, Kristin Davis and many more. She accompanied the words with throwback photos of her attendance at the gala over the years. Pop star Ellie Golding was also in attendance at the gala evening, having had close links with Sarah's daughter, Princess Eugenie. According to Tatler, it was Princess Eugenie who introduced Ellie to her now ex-husband, the art dealer Casper Jopling. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.